Yeah, we are. It heats the story right now. Mm -hmm. I, I think we could very well find the story becoming some very strong storms are going to be moving in. So let me get you right now to my weather watchers who are recording the temperatures all around the area. First number that jumps out at you, that 98. Plainsboro Township, Anthony Latanzio, thank you for that picture. He's got some sunshine there. But look north of the area, 88 coming in from Sherry Lazier in Woodbourne. And she writes, clouds have rolled right in in the last 45 minutes. Will the storms be severe? You know what, Sherry? Uh, they could very well be severe. I think they will be in portions out there. Let's bring it back home here, guys. There we go. Uh, here, we, here we go. We've got Sherry Lazier who lives right up in this area, a little bit north of Monticello. Let's zoom in tight there. All these counties shaded in yellow, by the way. Severe thunderstorm, watch out there. Uh, you can zoom in tight and you can see these have a lot of thunder and lightning. There's some hail associated with it. Real heavy rainfall. We've seen some rotation. Uh, up in the upper levels, also getting a little closer to the surface as well. If we track the leading edge of this, and sort of like a, like a serpentine arc you've got here, and wherever you see it bow out in front of the line, uh, that, that's, that's a really a sign of a strengthening storm, and, and, or at least a strong storm, and it could really do some damage. So let's go through some towns. I just want you to be on alert. Know this is a possibility. 605 to Middletown, Monroe, 627, Ramapo, 651, Newark, 727 into New York City, possibly at 740 at night. Now, I'll give you the big, broad picture here, and I'll show you what is going on. This is... It, yes, it's a front. I'm not going to call it a cold front because you're not going to watch the temperatures drop behind it. it. It's really, let's call it a cool front, all right? And, and it is eventually going to make its way through. And then you've got some much calmer air behind it. And let me time it out for you here on the future cast. So here we go. 8 p.m., they're right in line with our thinking of seeing some of those strong storms making their way into the metro areas. All right, that's 8 p.m. tonight. By 10 p.m. tonight, it's pushing east and south of the city. A lot of it's offshore, but not all of it. Could still be clipping some areas south of the city, maybe even east of the city as well. That's 10 p.m., but it's a fast mover. By the time you get into the overnight hours, it's basically out of here, and Friday looks like a good day with a very slight chance for some afternoon rain. Saturday, I think the first half of your day is pretty good. Here we are, 2 p.m., beaches are looking pretty good. In come some clouds, but look what's looming out there. Some wet weather. I think the rain chances on Saturday are going to be later in the day, and then you'll have them sort of on again, off again for your Sunday. And that's on my beach and mountain forecast. Uh, whether you're going to the mountains or whether you're going to the shoreline, I think Saturday is the better day, especially the first half of the day. And if you look at the numbers across the board, if you're staying in the city, 92 tomorrow, if that happens, that's a heat wave for us. That would be the third one of the year. I can't say the third one of the summer because the first one was in May. Can you believe that? Wow. Uh, 88 for Saturday. I bumped that number up. 88 for Sunday. 88 for Monday. So who's to say we couldn't get a couple of more degrees out there and have like this six-day run of 90-degree heat? It's a wow. possibility because this cold front is really not doing its job of cooling temperatures down that much. A lot to watch. Yeah, Thank you, Lonnie.